Odex empowers customers with effortless invoice tracking and seamless payment information updates. This user guide explains how to place a container release request on Odex. Enter your username and password at online.odexglobal.com. Post login, the customer can view the BL dashboard and can submit the instruction request. Customer clicks on the BL number to request for container release request instruction. There are multiple options to search for the shipment by using the search option of BL number, container number, shipment number, vessel name, voyage number, or invoice number in the search option. Click on the BL number to proceed to the invoice instruction page. The icon next to the BL number provides more information about the BL. Click on the Instruct icon to proceed with the request for invoice instruction. Select the Container Release Request option from drop-down. If there are any unpaid cash invoices, follow these steps to complete your payment and then request for a container release. To proceed with Container Release Request Submission, click on the Proceed to Pay to upload your Proof of Payment POP. Before proceeding with the release, please ensure you read the important note displayed on the screen. Once clicking on Proceed to Pay, the Payment Details screen will appear. Please upload your payment information and click Submit to complete the process. If you are a credit account holder with the shipping line, then the credit invoice will not be listed to upload payment details and you can proceed further with container release request submission. The customer can submit the container release request either for overstay depot or terminal release by entering all the mandatory information. For terminal release request, information like trucker name and trucker ID is mandatory. For overstay depot request, information like intended pickup date is mandatory. You can also save your request for future use by clicking the Save as Draft button. Upon clicking Save as Draft, a pop-up will appear on the screen and an event with the status Not Submitted will be created. In case of multiple containers, the customer must update the pickup location for all the containers in the top to submit the request quickly. Also note that customers have the option to manually update the trucker information on a container level when they have multiple containers and are using different transporters for pickup. Once the information is updated, the customer has to attach mandatory documents only PDF format such as SARS release, cargo dues and SAD 500. Note, you are only allowed one attachment on SARS cargo dues, SAD 500. In case of an additional attachment such as POP and other related release documents, it can be uploaded under Other Option and then click on Submit. Once the request is successfully submitted, a pop-up message will appear indicating the request is created successfully and the container release request event will be available with submitted status. Here, if the customer wants to edit the submitted request, Click on the Container Release Request event. Note, the request gets edited only when it is in the submitted or rejected status. Upon selecting the Container Release Request option, the submitted details will appear on the screen along with an Edit button. The customer can then modify the existing request, update the necessary information, and click Submit to finalize the changes. Once the request is successfully submitted, a pop-up message will appear indicating the request is created successfully and the container release request event will be available with submitted status and its last updated date and time. Additionally, monitoring your events becomes effortless with the instruction dashboard accessible through the toggle navigation feature. Under the instruction dashboard, you will be able to view all the instructions submitted on ODEX with the status and the latest timestamp of the event. Once your container release request is approved and processed by the shipping line, the line release at port event will be updated as completed state. Additionally, an event for the container release will be created on the BL event page. To access the container release information, click on the hyperlink of the created event. Upon clicking the hyperlink, the following information will be displayed. You can also click on the Navis hyperlink for additional details. This completes an end-to-end -end process of container release request on ODEX. Simplify and streamline global shipping. Start your ODEX journey now.